AEW and Tony Khan need to find a way to make the rest of the world care about professional wrestling and the draw to why these matches need to happen minus the fact that these are two good wrestlers and we want to see two good wrestlers wrestling. Some AEW fans will say different. The best tag team of all time. Do you feel me, sir? Mercedes Monet formerly known as Sasha Banks, has finally debuted in AEW Pro Wrestling. All Elites, Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet is All Elites. So let's talk about During tonight's AEW Dynamite Big Business, as we all knew, Sasha Banks, now known as Mercedes Monet, debuted in her hometown of Boston, Massachusetts. We all knew it was coming. We all knew that this was going to be a massive signing for AEW and Tony Khan. But how do we really feel about it? Myself, I felt that this entire debut was poorly done. Now, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed AEW Big Business. I thought the matches were great. Will Ospreay cooked at the 9 o'clock hour on the mic and really showed why he is a big value signing to AEW. We had Kashutsuke Okada and the Elites versus Penta, the returning pack, and Eddie Kingston in a trios match, which was really good as well. Uh, Darby Allen tried to kill himself again, which what else is new with Darby Allen? And then we saw him get written off TV so he could go and climb Mount Everest. All of this was really well done, but it felt interesting to me that... The debut of Mercedes Monet really came up short with, I think, maybe most of the wrestling community. I'm not going to speak with it for everyone, but the reactions that I was getting on my streams, in comments, everywhere else, it was like, we knew she was coming. It was a bit of a lackluster promo, but her entrance was cool. I think the hardest part for me is coming into this that we knew Sasha Banks, a.k.a. Mercedes Monet, was going to be the big reveal. I do feel kind of like what they did with CM Punk in Chicago. They did do the debut right because they brought her out at the start of the show. So the crowd was not taking over the entire show with the anticipation of her big reveal the one thing that kind of threw me though is that they did have the green monet signs all over the crowd you could already see the green monet t-shirts being worn by everyone i actually think you actually caught a glimpse of her brother at the start of the show so hiding it was not the biggest piece of importance to them on the other hand should it have been as much as she is a massive signing, and we're not going to talk about how long she's been signed for or how many dollars she's been signed for, she's a big signing and a big asset to the AEW roster. We saw at the end of the show, they even confronted her with one of the best up-and-coming talent in AEW being the TBS Women's Champion, Julia Hart. I loved that that they went down that avenue because first off, Julia Hart made Sasha's finisher look good. Remember when she debuted it in New Japan and it did not go over well. The person, I can't remember who took it. I actually think it might have been Rio. Maybe it was somebody else, but it just didn't go over as well as she wanted it to for her in-ring debut in New Japan. Julia took it like a pro. It came off amazing. There was that slight little hesitation from Willow in raising Sasha's hand to say, hey, welcome to AEW. I like that avenue of it. But her promo didn't really show a direction on where she was going. It just basically said the generic AEW is the world of dream matches. And I'm not going to disagree with that. In a couple of weeks, we get Will Ospreay versus Brian Danielson. 
there is a match that is built for a WrestleMania Night 2 main event, and we're basically getting it on a brand new premium live event from AEW. My biggest concern here is if they are not going to show a direction for Mercedes Monet right out of the gates with her either saying, yeah, I'm coming for you or I'm coming for you, then are we going to see the same thing that we've seen with all the other big signings where they just get put into this small little place on the card and fall by the wayside and Tony Khan finally finds himself a new toy in a couple of weeks? It's kind of like when you open that Christmas present on Christmas morning and you're like, oh, I really love this. Oh, there's a bigger present. And you forget about what you just opened until four or five months later when you find it unopened in your closet. AEW has made some phenomenal moves in the last seven weeks with the signing of Kazuchi Okada, Will Ospreay, and now Mercedes Monet. They have talent in all three spots of their roster, the main event of the women's, the main event of the men's, and somewhere in between for the not mid card, but for one of the many mid to upper card titles that AEW has. But without a proper creative team, do we see AEW flourishing with all this new talent? Or is Tony Khan paying an exuberant amount of money for talent to just show up, wrestle, and not draw big business? Reportedly, the Boston Garden, which has a capacity of 19,500, only had 9,800 tickets sold for this event. Now, this is where my concern is for AEW, is that if you have Okada, Jericho, Osprey, Monet, Jay White, all on this card, and you could probably fill a stadium up to 15,000. Why aren't you? Where is the disconnect between the wrestling fan and the draw to these amazing talent? This is my biggest concern. Overall, Big Business was a phenomenal show, and I do think that there is a lot of opportunity with what the AEW talent on the current roster can do for Tony Khan and the AEW brand. I'm really looking forward to Wembley and All In. I think that is going to be one of the most star-studded cards that we have ever seen in all of professional wrestling. But it's how do we get there? How do we build it? Why do we want to make the rest of the wrestling community that looks at AEW just as a wrestling brand? How do we make them care about it? Where's the story? Where's the reason that this match is happening? Besides the fact that this guy's a good wrestler and this guy's a good wrestler. And we just want to see two guys that are good at wrestling wrestle. That is what makes WWE successful. We are looking at Roman Reigns, who has only defended his title like 64 times in four years. And we care about this guy that has been holding this title hostage versus a guy that came from the other brand to become the top face in the business. And they've wrestled once, maybe twice. And we've built this aura around Cody finishing the story or everyone acknowledging their tribal chief. We had Brian Danielson versus Zack Sabre Jr. over in New Japan and half the world didn't even watch that match and that was a six out of five stars. So the one thing that I will continue to harp as much as I enjoyed big business tonight, AEW and Tony Khan need to find a way to make the rest of the world care about professional wrestling and the draw to why these matches need to happen minus the fact that these are two good wrestlers and we want to see two good wrestlers wrestling. If this was the 40s and the 50s, I can see that getting over in the Lions Club down the road where... 150 people would go before their night out but now we are with big business there is a lot of money being invested by tony khan and his father in AEW. now we need to see a return on that big business with merch sales pay-per-view sales watch times and overall tv ratings to draw people in now that they have the full structure of 
who is going to be their main eventers. Now we need to make AEW Dynamite and AEW Collision the main events for their time slots on television. Instead of drawing 670,000 or like 850,000 for one episode of the Dynamite, they need to be doing 1.2 to 1.4 million for an episode of Dynamite for that return to start coming in. Guys, I'm not hating on any of the AEW Dynamite stuff that we saw tonight. I just want to see a reason why we need to care more about the debut of Mercedes Monet. Why Will Ospreay's promo tonight was one of the best we've seen in AEW. Why Okada with the Elite could be one of the most dominant factions in AEW that we've ever seen. Guys, let me know in the comments. Did you enjoy Mercedes' debut? Is Osprey going to be the main guy going through 2024? And where does Okada fit with the Elite? Is this a slight, slow run? Are they going to win trios titles? Let me know in the comments. If you want to see more AEW content from me, please comment down below and we'll go from there. I appreciate you guys tuning in to this episode on the Mr. Tesh Wrestling Channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and put the bell on. You guys know the business, and I will see you in my next video.